welcome back to our channel. Yes, guys, welcome back. As you know, I'm Chad. And I'm Carisha. And we are the Roses. So today, guys, we want to take you on a crazy faith journey. Yes, guys. To just show you how God has been working in our life and how we actually came to visit Kerr in, in the Caymans while she were here working. No? Yeah. Well, um, it started out, I was here from, as the previous video shows, that I was here in October and missing my family as usual. You know when you're overseas and long time you see your family, especially your husband, and you don't know the part they go. Um, we decided to have Chad. Well, actually, we we were going to submit, or we submitted for our visitors' visa to come to the Cayman Islands, and Bridging that on itself is a miracle within itself because when we wanted to submit the documents there are a few stuff that you have to have you have to have proof of funds you have to have somebody to receive you which it would have been care and um, you have to have a police clearance yeah you have to do your police record so when I actually went to submit the documents to the consulate I think that's what they're called because it's not like a like an embassy like um like like US Embassy or Canadian Embassy, I think it's a consulate that received the documents on the behalf of the Cayman Islands. So when we went here to submit the documents and the lady was going through the documents, she asked me, where is my proof of funds? When I showed her the bank statement, or when she looked at the bank statement, the bank statement was reflecting five hundred dollars yes guys five hundred jamaican yeah. dollars Jama five hundred jamaican dollars because remember you now we just come a came man so we spend up everything what we need for to send me come so i have to depend on nobody and may have something can carry me up and down in a Cayman till me sort out myself and whatever she would have started making from her job would have to be used to pay back some bills and stuff like that. You know, and balance out things. So, Bridget, me bossy bossy go at the bank, ask them for bank statement, and bank statement I reflect $500. When the lady says, sir, you don't have the proof of funds to show me, I said, well, ma'am, I'm waiting on the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> so, we waiting on the Christmas bonus and I also have a credit card that have on such and such and she said, alright, well, I'll just make a note of that. Brethren, me a friend. Come here, say, boy, if me now show the... <laughs> me now show the proof of funds. So, I may not have the funds for sure. Anyway, um... I think um, in one instance, the lady asked you why it takes so long to come, come, come apply though, since your wife the years there came on for so long. Probably, probably. I don't remember all the details. But yeah, probably. at one point she, she asked you, so you just uh, come for come look for your wife and she's over there from when? Well, it's not from when. It's like that would have been three, three to four months. Yeah, but she did ask you that question there. So you yeah, said so, so that like you know No but you yeah, said so long like a like a So you never long? It was long but I'm saying in the sense of okay. like I know one year but even a week is long still really. So um after we submitted the documents we were we had to wait until the consulate sent the documents to the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands review the documents. Um then, before that, um when them submit the documents I would then have to go and pay um, by the immigration and in this sense paying and not knowing if they will get through 
it was something different well in our sense we were trusting god that he would deliver regardless but you know sometimes the mortal man we're frail we're frail so even though we are trust god we still are fret and a worry but that was a key thing to remember that when you pay when you submit the documents in jamaica the person who is in the cayman islands would have to go to the immigration office and pay for the processing of the the visa which is non-refundable so if they're not if they're not granted the visa you don't get back your money so we got through that phase then i wait so and they said that the time in which um we applied it was peak time for december rush so um immigration was going to close off early and we're not sure when the application might be granted so Chad and I every night we check in flight, we check in flight, check in flight. We don't know when things going go, um come through but one night me this me said me send him to him bed and I said to him, say, yes, me talk to you later. Well, 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 well. We were checking the flights to to see if we can capitalize on a cheap flight. Cheap flight. And we keep seeing the flights going up and up and up. So Mr. Bears why would I love to get the visa to get a confirmation for the visa so we can actually book the ticket? So she said, Alright, I'm going to go and look so you can't go to sleep. So when me go to sleep now and get up the next morning, no, I'm not get up, I get a call. And not you call me? No, you get up and you see it in your email. Oh, oh my god. I see an email come in with the itinerary of the flight. And I said, Well, well I'm not book no flight. So me call her. I me oh yeah, me call her. I mean I say, oh me I see itinerary say flight book on the time I leave this and that. I mean I say but and she said she there online and she asks God if she for book the flight she wanna see the flight for such and such a price and she said she see it and she just book it. And me I say You crazy How if you book a flight for a country where we have a visa for? And Bridget, that that's where the part where me I say, she have this action faith. She just do it now, but me have a calculated faith. Whereas I will trust God that when Him grant the visa, Him will also allow us to get a flight that is cheap enough. But she's like, God, I'm trusting you. When we buy the ticket, you're going to grant the visa. Bridget, when time me no, I think about no, but I know that. I said, God, if them I will get the visa, mm. make me get the flight for X amount. And me get the flight for the X amount. Remember, you know, we did the day I look for flight all along and a pure high flight because of peak time for Christmas. So the flight them raised. Well, that's a fear of it. So she does stand for fear of it. While as me, they stand for my calculated fear. So me I did it with my calculated fear no one I say when God do grant us the visa then the ticket can buy and because the old lady there asked me about funds proof of funds and me and me couldn't display it and me just tell her as a bonus. So when Kerry tell me say she buy the ticket. When I get the email. Oh when she tell me me start lose my ear cause me I say if the visa not come true, the money I got burn up. And it was a little bit of money because that was actually that was actually December, which is a peak period of the flights, and the money never a little bit for the flight. Anyway, the daddy and we have, we have call the people and the lady I said there's nothing she can do about the visa because the visa is not it's not approved by them. Them just collect the documents and send it over. It normally takes three days a week and me I calculate and the time does a wind down. So Kerry booked the ticket for the Friday. For Friday night flight. And it was like the Thursday. The Thursday. The Thursday midday I got the call. And no, me I, but a whole remember you know when you have to pack the bag. When you have packed the bag. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, I put the clothes together, but I never put them in the bag. Because I said, when I get the visa granted, then I go put the clothes in the bag. So I go home the Wednesday, and I said, Father God, I'm going to put the clothes in the bag and trust you. Because it seems like you said, I'm not ready to take the flight yet, so you're not send through the information or grant the visa. So I'm going to put the bag, put the, the clothes in the bag the night. And say, God, I eat this, believe it, now your hands. So midday, the Thursday. Thursday, we get the call. A lady said, you can come, the visas, visas has been granted, and you can come and pick up your, well, you can carry your passport to get the stamp, because I'm actually stamping. When we get it now, the next thing me there, I wonder if it was going to be a single entry, if it was going to be only for six months, and it was actually for a year with multiple entry. When time we call her, she was she was she would never surprised because I guess she was standing on her feet, but me the glad. <laughs> <laughs> when we said when we get the call, me the glad because a Friday we fly out. Then hear him call me now. We are fly out. We are fly out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I should say that when we did submit the documents at the consulate, and Karim, Karim, when he come outside, he said to me, "So we get the visa?" So me, I said, "No, that's not the process. We have to submit the documents, and then them send the documents over to Cayman. Cayman review the documents and say whether or not them going grant us the visa." So it it it. <laughs> It's a, it's a nice experience when we actually got to come here because Bridging, that was like four months and from where I've been married, we have never been apart. There are, I think like the night before we get married, we actually slept apart. But after we were, we were married, we have never been apart. So to be apart from each other for that period of time, it was very strenuous. It was good that we, were, we are in the age of technology whereas we could have do video calls and stuff like that but it was never the same because the bed had too much space in it even though it's a big bed and when the two hour night we have space but you know when time you sleep close together and the other part in the end of the bed the bed feel even bigger the bed feel like it in an ocean by yourself so and and i think it was even harder for her because she was coming to a, a country that is unfamiliar and I was still in Jamaica where, you know, everything familiar to me I and mean, I know everybody and all of that I and mean, I have friends and all of that. So for her to be in a country that is new to her, I know that it would have been a struggle. Oh, when we come in at December, I'm give you one drama. So you see, sometimes people see a struggle where you go through and want it and say, oh, you live life. When we come and she said we are going to the supermarket, no, we take the bus. We take the bus because we had a rent, rental car <laughs> and we were supposed to drop off by the rental car. So we drop off the rental car now and she has shown me. So when we did drive and thing, she has shown me, said, if I'm here, so I'm going to walk down you know, every day you know, after I come off of the bus, I'm going to walk go down. And we said, okay. So we drop off the rental car and we have to walk go down. So I said, no, so we can't manage. <laughs> Bridget, we could manage. So me have say at this she have to go through every day. I walk this a distance here to go home. Me say you're trying to do God 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 make sure <laughs> say you and you will send first. Because if you miss send me probably with a pack up and go back. Listen, the distance that she had to walk from the bus stop when she when she coming home from work and she come off of the bus. The distance of Shaffer Walk is like from Kansas Spring to Crossroads. I don't, I don't think that's so far. So it looks far, so, but I don't think that's so, <laughs> probably that's so far still. But I tell you, so when the sun lick you, I tell you, I say, well, I'm bad tap by the camera. And it's that? so happened that the person, one of the person who lives in the, the house, house, the yard where she live in. Her. Yeah. That person that they are go home and him see me and he stop and pick me up. I say it's like a God said it because I know say <laughs> by the time me would have reached out of the house there, they would have to go call the ambulance. <laughs> that the journey they don't normal. 
That's what I tell you, say, when some people see a life and wow one and things say I go through one easy, easy road. Listen, man, when I see the journey where she has to walk, if I did me, me <laughs> I do it. Me need I do it, but I tell you, say, we put up with the, the drive car, rental car, everything nice. I will put up rental car and go walk the journey. It never pretty virgin. And for me, I walk it morning and evening. Especially on a Saturday because um, during the week the bus would take me part way because mm. you have to pay for turn off on the bus. The bus take you part way and then afterwards you're on your own. Yeah man. But well, so again we just wanna thank you for tuning in. Thank you for viewing our videos. We just want you to like, share and subscribe. Um, this is our journey and we want you to come along with us as we said subscribe tell a friend and hope to see you again people they get some comments no man nobody no one talk go on, go on. i guess i don't want to know how to come to the cayman islands but we're open to comments if you comment we do try to reply to everyone so i could see another comments and again thank you enough love